I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video, I am going to be doing a bomb ass um, rose gold and glitter set. Honestly, it gives me so much life and everyone has been loving it so much on Instagram. So thank you guys that follow me there that have been absolutely loving the posts for this particular set. I'm so happy to now be able to bring you the video for it. So I've gone ahead and done a small infill on my nails and reshaped them and everything like that. So all the prep work is done. If you want to see how I sculpt my clear base, then I'll have it linked for you guys on the information bar on the screen right right now so first off i'm coming in with my pink acrylic and this is from glitterplanetuk.com it isn't available just yet but my new line nail mate will be launching 2018 so keep your eyes peeled for that and follow all of my social media accounts if you want to keep up with any updates or if you want to know when the release date is because i'm hoping to share that with you guys soon you yeah, know so next I'm coming in with holographic rose shards and these give me so much life like oh my god. I'll have the link for those down below as well. And this is a Glam and Glitz acrylic colour. It is called Sandcastles or Sandcastle. One of the one or the other. Um, it's this like burnt orange tan colour with some gold glitter in there. It's a very fine shimmer. If I'm being honest, this colour really was not for me. Like, I thought it was going to be a bit more sparkly, um, but once I'd actually applied my glitters and got this set finished, it really wasn't as I would imagined it to be, if that makes any sense. Also, first couple of times using Glam & Glitz colours, they are super runny for me to work with. Like, I generally like to work wet, but this is crazy. It's crazy. I will get used to it, but it just takes me a little bit of time, so if it looks like I can't do nails, I promise you guys, I can, okay? So where I placed the pink acrylic and faded it down, I'm just coming in with um, the sandcastles. I've blended that up, so it's almost like an ombre. And then diagonally across the nails, I am patting those rose shards into the wet acrylic. I didn't use any extra acrylic for this job. I literally used my wet brush and just patted them into the existing wet acrylic. And speaking of brush, this is the number 10 um, Kalinsky brush available from glitterplanetuk.com. I'll have it linked for you guys in the description box down below. It's absolutely stunning. It's a holographic handle and honestly, living for it. So I'm going ahead again on the little finger and this is just going to be done exactly the same as the first one using that sheer pink acrylic and then blending it down, blending in the coloured acrylic from the tip to the middle of the nail and then coming in with the rose shard. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then I will be right back. And guys, if you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would absolutely love it if you could stay and just, you know, chill out, watch some nails, see a crazy lady go crazy, if that even made sense. Anyway. Also, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it as well because that really, really helps me out. My goal this year is to reach 100k and I can only do that if you guys are helping me out, you know, commenting, liking, sharing, all of that good stuff. So yeah, I'll let you guys enjoy this bit and then I will be back. So next for the two fingers that have nothing on, I'm coming in with this nude beige kind of colour from glitterplanetuk.com from my new brand Nailmate. It hasn't released yet but this is a new colour that you guys haven't seen yet. Honestly, mm, it is stunning. Like seriously. Oh, it is like the most beautiful natural nude. 
it's of a ashy, so it's not a warm orangey kind of nude. It's like got the cool tones in there. It really is absolutely stunning. Yeah, I literally cannot go any more into detail about this, you know, because it literally is what it is, and I just think it's bomb. Possibly because it's my own brand. Probably not. Obviously it is, because da, I won't bring anything that's less than bomb out for you guys or myself because obviously I've got to use it as well and I'm not going to start using any shit right now so yeah I'm going ahead applying this acrylic to the two nails and then I'll be back to do the rest Okay, moving on to the thumbnail and this is just going to be a full nail of the sandcastles which is from glam and glitz i'll have everything mentioned all the products that i've used in the description box down below for you guys so you can go ahead and check those out and yeah all i can say is that this was super watery not watery just very very runny consistency even when i had got the acrylic into place and exactly where i wanted it to be when i then came to place my cuticle bead you could see on some of the nails that the, at the tip of the nail it had sort of like all moved to one area and become slightly bulged in sort of like certain areas so I then had to come back in and pat it down it did it on this set slightly but on the most recent set that I just did I haven't edited and put that video up just yet it was truly truly evident and I am going to leave that in for you guys to be able to see um, just because why the heck not you guys need to sort of see these things and I think it's only fair that I share because I wouldn't use something and rave about something without showing the pros and the cons like the bad and the good sides to it because then you can make your own decisions like I'm not saying guys this is awesome like get it man it's totally radical I'm telling you guys that it's nice I love the color range I think they are absolutely fabulous but oh god damn they are runny okay so next I'm coming in with clear and I'm going to encapsulate all of the nails. I don't encapsulate the nude because they are a core acrylic powder. They don't need encapsulating because they haven't got any glitters or anything that needs protecting. So I'll encapsulate these nails and then I'll be back. I'll file them both off of camera and we will apply the top coat. So the pigment I'm using today is Rose Gold from Glitter Planet. It is absolutely gorgeous. You get 0.5 grams in a pot, but look how much that is. That is like seriously enough. You li literally use the tiniest amount. I'm using the silicone tool from Glitter Planet and then the No Wipe Top from um, Kira Sky. 
I have been absolutely loving this top coat but if anyone follows me on Instagram and you saw in my stories I did a French nail and I applied and cured this top coat and it went yellow like I am not even lying it was so so bad so bad but I'm gonna give it another go try it again cure for less time apply a little less product see if it was my fault and we'll see where we go from there but it is a beautiful top coat it applies stunningly the finish is gorgeous it's just serious just trying to work out the yellowing situation what we have going on you know so I'm applying the top coat and then I'll come in and apply the top coat to one of the nude nails and I like to do my pigments a nail at a time if I'm just doing a few different things and um, because I find that they apply best once that top coat cured it comes straight out of the lamp like if you wait a little bit sometimes it can sort of um what's the word what can it do guys it can like just make it not go on very well I find personally because I wanted to do the drips on the other nail it would take a little bit longer for me to do so but yeah just applying one for now curing it and then I'll be back to apply the pigment Okay guys, so I am back and I am buffing in this beautiful rose gold pigment. It is available at glitterplanetuk.com and I'm just using the silicone tool to really work it in there, make sure that it's applied evenly, smoothly and has like a mirror-like finish. And the silicone tool is the best tool for doing just that. So once I have finished buffing in the pigment, I always like to come in with just a cotton round or a cotton pad and just wipe off the excess. I find that that is the best way to actually do that rather than using any kind of brush because pigments are so delicate and once you've applied them, they aren't protected until you've top coated. I find that using a cotton pad or something like a lint-free wipe is the best way to remove any excess um, dust plus it catches everything. So that's a good thing because if you've got any stray pigment, it's going to cause it to sort of look sparkly rather than like a chrome rose gold kind of finish or whatever pigment you're using. It'll change it to look a bit different, which isn't always a bad thing. So next I'm coming in and I'm just applying a top coat, making sure that I seal the sides and cure in the lamp for 30 to 60 seconds. So now I have done the same steps and before I apply the top coat to the whole nail, which I am not going to do, so I'm right up to the part where I've just applied the pigment over the top coat. So instead of applying the top coat over the entire nail, I'm coming in with a detailing brush and gel top coat. This is a no wipe top and I'm just literally designing what I want to show through. So I am using the brush to just draw some drips because I really had an idea of doing like dripping rose gold and I thought it looked absolutely bomb once I'd finished. So I'm going to go ahead, do that and cure it in the lamp and then I'll be back to show you guys the reveal, which is by the way the best part.
I'm just going to go ahead and use some of the NSI Pure Plus. You can use alcohol or I wouldn't use acetone because it's probably going to destroy the nail. Just use like alcohol or some kind of sanitizer or something like a gel wipe and come in with your cotton pad and basically wipe across the nail. You want to do it thoroughly and with quite a bit of pressure to make sure you are removing any of the pigment that didn't get caught up underneath that gel polish. Um, underneath the top coat that we applied and as you can see it reveals your design so whatever design you do draw using that top coat is what will be revealed and you do need to sort of work a little bit fast because if you are using a runny top coat it'll just sort of run everywhere which obviously you don't want that because it'll spoil everything but yeah that is pretty much how I did it super simple and super easy so I'm just coming in and applying some cuticle oil and massaging that in. I do this at the end of every set for myself and my clients as well. And this is the final result, guys. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you love how this turned out. I am absolutely in love with this rose gold set. It is literally bomb.com. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Please always remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck, and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back.